We do indeed. We have comms and rain in the same, in the same breath. Now the rain is starting to fall down on Cheetah Plains in a great downpour. It's about two drops. But we do have a lovely surprise for you in a tree. Hello, Mr. Q. Long time no see. There's some impala that he's looking at as well. Oh, Brian, that is... Can you see him there? Forward a bit. Uh, we'll be okay. Back a bit. Back a bit. Hello, photogenic leopard. How's that? Perfect. Those eyes. There we go. For our new viewers, the son of Karula, who is now just over four years old and has already essentially established himself a territory here, I would say. He's been seen mating with Inkanyeni, who of course is a mystery leopard to me. He's been seen mating with Inkanyeni. He did actually have a little bit of a brawl with his older brother and now seems to be relatively well established in this area. I'm a bit nervous of changing direction, Brian, in case we don't have comms with final control again. Perhaps, where's he going to put his head? Let's see where he puts his head first and then we'll do some shuffling around. And glancing around. Now this sort of weather is ideal for big cat sightings. Karula didn't want to do too much this morning and when I was listening to the other vehicles who were still with her apparently she was still fast asleep on the ranch. Ouch, my eardrum did not appreciate that, sorry, hold on. Turn this down. There we go, much better. Just an update on the Nkumas, apparently they are on Simbombili. I don't know if perhaps Brent would kindly pass that message on to Rexon from where he is in the tent. I can't at the moment, but it sounds as though the Nkumas are on Simbombili. So they have not yet crossed back into Juma. I know Rexon was asking earlier. Okay. I'm scared to go reposition because I know we don't have comms around that side of the tree. It seems to be entirely directional based. If I'm facing north-south, if I'm aligned north-south, I don't hear anything. And if, if I'm vaguely east-west, I seem to be okay. Which unfortunately is not where Quarantine has placed himself. Alright, let's risk it. Let's go around the corner a little bit and then if we don't hear anything from Lou then we'll know we'll have to go back again otherwise we can't answer all those questions that are flooding in on hashtag safari live on Twitter so far so good Lou okay I'm gonna stop here Ooh. <laughs> no. here we go okay Lou I can hear you perfectly so far so good I wonder how big quarantine's going to be when he's fully grown. Oh, you horrible cat. That was such a contrary thing to do. Immediately turn around and face the opposite direction. All right, boy. That's fine. We'll sit here and wait for you to turn back towards us. Is that a frog? Sorry. Must be a frog. Very odd sound. Sorry, we had a question about Quarantine's name. And I'm sorry, I can't quite fully hear who that question came from. But he wants to know whether or not Quarantine is the one that means rain. Felix, Phoenix Fire, Phoenix Fire, that makes more sense than Felix Fire, which was what I was thinking. Phoenix Fire, 
No, it's not. Mvula is the one that means rain. Mvula, of course, suspected to be Quarantine's father, one of the possible fathers of Quarantine. He was the dominant male around Juma. He's now sort of established himself quite far north of that, occasionally dipping into the southern areas of his home range. Um, Mvula means rain. Quarantine is named after Quarantine Clearings where he spent a great deal of time. Quarantine clearings is the big open area right outside of our camp. And of course, like all young male leopards, he spent quite a bit of time before he became independent within his mother's territory and spent a lot of time around that particular area and around the bush dinner site, much like his sister. And that's where the name quarantine comes from. Quarantine clearings is called quarantine because that is where cattle were quarantined back before this actually became, this area became a reserve. And Cheetah Plains was a reserve slightly earlier than Juma. But that is where cattle were quarantined, hence the name. And of course in this area needed to be quarantined because there is naturally occurring, occurring tuberculosis as well as heart water disease and bovine foot and mouth and it's transmittable from buffalo to cattle so that was one of the reasons why the cattle were placed in quarantine in this area initially to prevent the spread of those sorts of diseases which of course are transmittable to human beings i think we should sit patiently and wait for quarantine to get up and moving in this chilly morning in the meantime a tailor's got